We're now going to look at how to find the perimeter of a shape. To find the perimeter of a shape, what you do is you add together the lengths around the outside of the shape. So it's really it's a distance around the outside of the shape. Here I've got some two-dimensional shapes. I have got a pentagon, triangle, square, circle, rectangle, and hexagon. And you could be asked to find the perimeter of any of these shapes. The circle is a slightly more complicated one. I'll talk about that in a second. To find the perimeter of a shape, you just add together the lengths of all the sides. So for this pentagon, you would add together the five sides. For the triangle, you would add together the three sides. Square, add together the four sides. Uh, for the rectangle, you add together the four sides. And for the hexagon, you add together the six sides. The circle, it, the perimeter of a circle has got a fancy name or a particular name. It's called the circumference. Watch the video on circumference of a circle whenever you're taught that. And you'll see how to find the perimeter or the circumference of a circle. The square, because the sides are all the same, what you could do is you could measure the length of one of the sides and times it by four instead of adding together the four sides. Uh, if, this, uh, if the pentagon uh, or the triangle or the hexagon were regular shapes, so a regular pentagon or a regular hexagon or an equilateral triangle, what you could do is you could times the length of the side by how many sides there are. So if this was a regular pentagon, that means all the sides are the same length. What you could do is you could just times one side by five and you'd get the perimeter of the shape. If this was an equilateral triangle, meaning that all sides were the same, you could measure one of them and times it by three. If this is a, a regular hexagon, you could measure one of the sides and times it by six because it's six sides. Okay. Um, if they're irregular, that means that not all the sides are the same. What you've got to do is just add together the, or add together the sides yourself. Um, for a rectangle, what you could do is you could add together the four sides, or you could, uh, because the top's the same as the bottom and the sides the same as the other side, what you could do is you could measure the top and double it, measure the side and double it, and then add those two together. Okay, so the perimeter of a shape is the distance around the outside of a shape. So here we've got a rectangle, and we're going to find the perimeter of this rectangle. So to find the perimeter of the rectangle, what we need to do is we need to add up all the four sides. We need to add the top, the bottom, the side, and the other side, and that will tell us the distance around the outside of the rectangle. So because the top's 10 centimeters, that means the bottom is 10 centimeters. And because the right-hand side is uh, five centimeters, that means the left-hand side is five centimeters for a rectangle. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do 10 plus 10 plus five plus five. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus five is 25, plus 5 is 30. So the perimeter of this shape would be 30 centimeters. Because it's just a distance around the outside, that's just 30 centimeters. Okay, Don't get confused and put centimeters squared. You put centimeters squared whenever you're dealing with area. Okay, So the perimeter of this shape is 30 centimeters. Okay, we're now going to find the perimeter of this regular hexagon. So to find the perimeter of a regular hexagon, you're going to add together all the six sides. Because it's regular, that means all of the sides are the same. Because this one's eight, it means all of them are eight centimeters long. So it means that means that this side's eight centimeters, this side's eight centimeters, this, 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 this. All of those sides are eight centimeters. So what you could do is you could do eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, you know, with six eights. Or because you know it's got six sides and each of them is eight centimeters, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do six because six sides multiplied by eight, and then six times eight is 48 centimeters. And then that means that the perimeter of this shape is 46, uh, 48 centimeters. We're not gonna find the perimeter of this L shape or a compound shape. Okay, and a compound shape is where you've got uh, more than one shape that's been put together. You can see here, we've got what looks like a rectangle and another rectangle that have been uh, formed together. Um, so before you do a question like this, what I would recommend you do is find the length of the missing side. So you can see here, we've got 15 along the bottom, we've got 10 along the side, 6 here and 4 here. There's a side or a length missing here and a length missing here. And it would be quite useful to find these two lengths before working out the perimeter. Because remember, for the perimeter, you need to add together all of the sides. Okay, And that would include the two that are missing. Okay, So let's first of all work out the length of the one at the top. Okay. Now to find the length of the one at the top, you need to find all the lengths that are going horizontal. So there's one horizontal one here, there's this horizontal line, and there's this big long horizontal. Now you can see here, the whole shape is 15 meters long. This section is 4 meters long. 
So this means that the section at the top must be 11 metres long, because the 11 plus the 4 would have to be the 15 metres in total. The shape is 10 metres tall. This part is 6 metres, and the rest of it is here. So 6 plus something must be 10. So that means that this bit is 4 metres. Now we've found all the missing sides. We've got the two missing sides. Now we can add them together to find the perimeter of the ship. So we've got 10 plus 11 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 15. And if you add together those, it would give you the perimeter of the ship. So let's do that. We've got 10, 11, 6, 4, 4. And 15. And I'm going to use the column method to do this. 0 plus 1 is 1, plus 6 is 7, plus 4, 11, plus 4, 15, plus 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 1 plus 2, uh, 1 plus 1 is 3, plus the 2 is 50. We're going to look at a slightly different question now. We've got a rectangle, and they've given us the perimeter of the rectangle, so the distance around the rectangle to be 24 centimetres. So the whole way around this rectangle is 24 centimetres. And the question's asked you to find the length of y, one of the sides, one of the widths. Okay, now to do this, what you need to do is see what they've given you. The top is 7 centimetres. That means the bottom is 7 centimetres as well. So that means that the top and bottom, well, 7 plus 7 is 14. So these two sides are 14 centimetres. I'd write that down. 7 plus 7 is 14 centimetres. That means that the top and the bottom add together to be 14, and the whole shape is 24. So let's take the 14 centimetres away from the 24 centimetres. And whenever you do 24 centimetres, take away 14 centimetres, that's 10 centimetres. So that means that these two sides, all together, are 10 centimetres. But they're the same as each other. This side is the same as this one. So if you half the 10 centimetres, it will tell you the size of y. So half of 10... 10 divided by 2 equals 5 centimetres. So that means that 5 centimetres. So that means that this side is 5 centimetres. Let's check out. Let's just check it's right. So that means that both of them would be 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus 7 is 17. Plus 7 is 24. So therefore our answer is right. This question, we've been told that the perimeter of the equilateral triangle is 24 centimetres. That means that whenever you add together the three sides, the, the perimeter, the answer is 24. Uh, because it's an equilateral triangle, it means all the sides are the same. So it means that this side is the same as this side, which is the same as this side. And you've been asked to find one of the sides of the triangle. So what you're going to do is you're going to do uh, 24 divided by 3. We're dividing it by 3 because all of the sides are the same. So 24 divided by 3 equals 8 centimetres. So that means that one of the sides of this triangle is 8 centimetres. And that would mean that the other two would be 8 as well. And that's a good way to check your answer. Because let's just check. 8 plus 8 is 16. Plus 8 is 24. So that means that this length is 8 centimetres.